Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back with us to play Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of Elusive Age on the PC. Last time, we explored the town of Hato, where this little girl, Veronica, was looking for her sister, who, uh, well, apparently, she got kidnapped while she was in a steam bath, and her sister went to go look for her, but she escaped, and now we gotta rescue her sister, because her sister's over there. So, yeah. And there's a little girl who can't find her dad. So, yeah. And we also gotta make some... Make a ring for a quest, so we gotta go do that too. We got lots of stuff to do today, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put away some of my money just in case I do uh, end up um, dying from you know playing on hard mode. Eventually, I'm gonna probably not use it, but for now, yeah, let's put away 2000 just to not worry about it. We don't need it on us right now at the moment, so let's go. How you doing, dude? You were arguing with uh the the girl earlier where did she go did she get stuck over here oh i think she just like teleported to us eventually yeah i guess if we went inside the oh, there yeah she doesn't like going inside there for some reason if you intend to go west be pre prepared to fight okay i mean i've got to make stuff and buy stuff and all sorts of other stuff so i think i'm fine with my fighting abilities here I do want to see if I can grab this new enemy here. A droll drone. Yeah, it's a mutant snail. And I think he only appears at nighttime, too. Uh, he has pretty good defense. But not like the uh, crabs, but pretty solid defense. And yeah, Veronica, despite being a mage, is only going to do physical attacks right now. So it's not really a good indication of her abilities for when she's going to join the party later. Because for some reason, she's stuck on just doing physical attacks. There is actually a reason for it, and we'll find out when we go to the area that we're supposed to here. But for now, yeah, she's just going to cover the enemy with her staff and do very minimal damage. So she's not terribly useful. This iron ore is useful, though. The copper ore is also useful. There's a ton of little droll drone dudes out here. Like quite a number. Oh well. Anyways, we went ahead this way. And there's a spot to summon our horse over there. I'm kind of curious if it's the same horse or if it's a different one, because it should not make any sense for it to be the same horse. Because if it is, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's the same horse somehow. Okay. And here's another new enemy. A walking corpse. Uh, unlike Final Fantasy games, I don't think these guys are weak to heal spells, so we're not going to bother. Uh, let's just go ahead and... I mean, we are going to... We are going to be healing up at the campsite here, so we can waste our MP if we want to, but he's not that bad. And we resisted the curse. Thank you. Uh, I don't remember what curse actually does off the top of my head. Unlike poison, which, you know, pretty easy to figure out. Yeah, I don't remember what curse does off the top of my head. We can look it up real fast. Let's see. Curse. Uh, let's see. Traveler's tips. Battle. Ailments. It causes you to lose your turn in battle among other unpleasant afflictions. Uh, you can always seek benediction at a church. Okay, so it causes you to lose your turn. So not bad. Uh, I don't know if it does anything else, but let's try not to get let's try not to get hit with it. If you really want to, you can pop on the Trodane set for Soul. There, it'll work out pretty good. We've got new, at least another focus point at the at the forge. That's nice. Serena and I just happened to come across Hoto on our travels. Oh yeah, we already, he already said this, didn't he? <laughs> Alright. That Veronica kid talks a good game because she really handled herself with things got Harry. I guess she did say she was a mighty sage from Arborea. That must mean something, right? I'm not sure what, though. Well, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean a whole lot since she's not actually using her magic. Can we talk to our horse for now? Well... If we go any closer, it kicks us out, so maybe not. What do you got? Uh, the same stuff as the town. Fair enough. 
If we're getting to level 12, though, we get a nice ability here at the Forge. In addition to the Focus Point, we learned Lightning Bash, which is a softer strike made with half the normal strength. It's perfect for putting the finishing touches on more delicate items of equipment. Yeah, so that'll be real nice for finishing an item up. Uh, the only problem is it costs 10 Focus, so it's kind of expensive. Alright, Gold Ring, let's go. This is for the quest, and let's just bash. Let's see, let's go for a lightning bash over here, and I think that should be fine. It's not going to be a plus one, I don't think. Pretty well, okay, that'll be plus one, so that's not too bad. And really, that's all we need for the quest. And with the gold ring, I think it just has defense and charm, nothing else. So if you want to put it on for the duration of the area coming up, feel free, but I don't think it's terribly worth it. You can sell it for a fair amount, so that's not too bad. Yeah, it's solid defense, I guess, and a little bit of charm, so it's not horrible. Uh, plain clothes, we can sell you... But first off, let's go ahead with the Iron Broadsword. That's just a one-handed sword. We could make that for, like, Eric if you really wanted to have him give him a, a one-handed sword. And really, it's not too shabby, but really, I care about the Cast Iron Claymore and the Bronze Armor here. So, let's go with Cast Iron. And by the way, there's an owl outside my window. So if you hear that, that's what's happening. It's the owl. So, I don't know. Let's see. Too many lightning, or too many uh, double dashes are not going to work out great for me here. All right, let's see here. We have... Uh, Go for a lightning bash on the corner right here. Perfect. Okay. And then a lightning bash right there. Really well. So plus two. Okay. I can deal with that. Yeah, we don't have enough for another lightning bash. Otherwise, I would probably use it on right here. But this should be good enough. Dear Owl, be quiet. Cast Iron Claymore, plus two. Nice. Yeah, we miss, we're missing out on five points, which is pretty decent. And we could probably get it up to plus three if you wanted to. Uh, bronze Armor, let's go for you. I'll probably try to rework the, the Cast Iron Claymore. Just to get that extra five points there, because it could be nice. Nice. Perfect. Good enough. Good. Good. And we got two lightning bashes here. Good enough. And... Let's see. This might be good enough for me. Perfect. Alright. Really well. Plus two. Nice. Yeah, so the lightning bash really helps to, you know, put the finishing put the finishing touches on the stuff here. It might not always get you to the plus three, but it'll help you to at least get plus one or potentially plus two, and that's good enough for me. All right, uh, anything else here? Yeah, we don't have any more gold ore. Yeah, we can buy it for 800 gold coins. Yeah, that's a bit much. I am good, thank you. Uh, let's see, accessories. I don't think we have anything besides the gold ring to make there. So let's go ahead and do some reworks here, because we got plenty. Broadsword for three pearls. Yeah, I can do that. And I think we should be able to work on the one star and potentially one and a half star stuff now and possibly get the fucker. The hell? Hmm. 
Okay, that's going to be a waste of pearls right there because my double-edged bash screwed me over. We're going to try that again and this time not fail miserably. Oh well. Yeah, I wasn't thinking those, um, those double-edged bashes were going to be that powerful, but oh well. Try this again. Go here. There you go. Perfect. That is beautiful. Huh. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a plus three. Sadly, you can't get to like plus four or higher, but plus three is good enough for me. There we go. Ah, now we're ready for some good power there. And let's see if we can't rework that strength ring as well. Uh, actually, your poison moth knife, we need to, we need to rework that, because that'll give you some extra pack power right there. Yeah, let's go. Let's try to make this thing beautiful. Actually, we can just go ahead and spam double-edged bash here. Yeah. Good, good, good. And perfect. Brilliantly, yes. Plus three. That was easy. Thank you, Lightning Bash, for making my life easier and my weapons better. Nice. Sadly, it does not up the uh, paralysis rate, but yeah. Whatever, I'll survive. Uh, we want to rework your... Uh, yeah, let's rework the strength ring here. Yeah, one and a half is still pretty... Pretty... Maybe not super difficult, but it's not going to be the easiest, that's for sure. If we get some crits, we should be good. We're only going to have enough for... Actually, we're not going to have enough for, for any lightning bashes. Yeah, we don't have enough uh, focus for that, damn. Yeah, we just need more We just need more focus for it. Or, you got to hope that you get some crits there. So, that didn't work out as well as I was hoping. Oh well, we tried. Okay, we're done then. Uh, let's go ahead and rest up, and... Actually, you know what? Hang on. I think I have some stuff to sell. Like... My plain clothes here. Cast Iron Claymore for a nice little boost. And instead of Scale Armor, we got the Bronze Armor for a nice little boost. And yeah, you're good. Okay, so, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we can sell the broadsword. We don't need you anymore. And the scale armor. We don't need you anymore. Okay, and that should be good right there. Let's go ahead and rest up and go back to what we need to go. Hush, Howl. You aren't there. We get it. Go away. Hey, it's little mud mages. Now, these guys only appear during the day. Lump wizards. Mud mages, lump wizards, whatever you want to call them. By the way, look at our cool greatsword. I like it. It's a big old lump of iron, pretty much. And also, our knife is looking pretty nice, too. Veronica Except when he puts it away like that. It looks kind of eh. But oh well. What you gonna do? Uh, you're gonna stay away from me while I make sure. See, so there's one more enemy here, which I think is also available in the the dungeon coming up. 
so I'm not terribly worried about it. Wake Robin, that's nice. And more iron ore over here. Perfect. Gosh, owl. Please, that thing is loud. Uh, I don't think we can run over the bongos, can we? Yeah, I think the bongos are just too big to run over. Which is fair enough. You know, the good thing about Veronica being a guest party member, even if she's not doing, you know, what she's supposed to be doing, magic, is that she basically can't be killed because she's doesn't have a health pool at the moment. So she can take a lot of hits, and she's basically like a little mini tank right now, which is fantastic. And whoosh, that is a wind spell. Fizzle, yeah, that's for keeping us from casting our spells, which is not my favorite thing ever. Basically silence, but luckily it's not that common of an ailment, so we're not going to be seeing it too much. Oh, these little up lizards are actually doing a pretty decent little chunk of damage. Pretty decent. Uh, let's see. Heal up Eric. And heal up ourselves. There we go. And ignore you. I don't care about you. And go into our nice little dungeon. The horsey, you can stay outside. Hello, little green Drecky. I was pressing the attack button and it did not work. So, oh well. Let's go! Track mages. I'm trying to remember what these guys actually cast. I mean, yeah, they have abilities to cast some stuff, but I'm not sure what. Uh, let's go ahead and put on our boomerang there, which we'll upgrade eventually. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Doesn't the dude... Hang on a second. I need to check something after this fight, because if it is the case... We might want to go back to town real fast. And there goes our defense. That's great. Thanks, game. See, Veronica, that's how you cast spells. So you use your magic points. Okay, let me see something here. Uh, miscellaneous... Uh... Quest catalog, which we haven't actually looked at that much. Put a ring on it. Yeah, we get a boomerang for turning this quest in. I will be right back. I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys in town to get that uh, quest reward because I'd rather have the, the new boomerang for Eric than the ring that I'm not going to use. So I'll be right back. Alright, dude. I got your wedding ring for you. One of refined quality that's shining like the sun? Yes. There you go. And we get a cruiser ring. Nice. You gave the gold ring to the blacksmith at Hotel and were reminded in the process of the fun size forge for you to improve items as well as to make them. Nice. And then the equipment for Eric here. Cruiser ring. Yeah, nice little boost there. Uh, 23. It's not too shabby. Let's see. Still not as powerful as, like, you know, the regular knives. But for hitting all the enemies, yeah, it's not too shabby at all. So... There we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys at the Fun Size Forge in the camp after making enough uh, items to get the pearls for it, and we'll forge it up to whatever we get it to, so I'll be right back. Turns out we need six pearls to work this thing, and I got one, so let's see here. Uh, the, what is it, the, the node with the iron ore respawned, so I have enough to make another cast iron claymore and sell that for a pretty decent chunk of money. Or I could also make the iron broadsword and sell that. Okay, let's just make that, that way we can sell it for money. And then also make the uh, cast iron again and sell that, because why not? Let's see, let's go with the bash. Good. And we'll have just enough lightning bashes here. Perfect. 
Perfect. That should be a plus two right there. Yeah, really well. Nice. And I think this will give us, what, three pearls? And then so should the broadsword too. So that would work out pretty good. Or the... Ah, oh, that only gave me two. But then again, we only need six total, so... I think the... Yeah, I think the Claymore will give us a three. Again, you don't have to do all this, but I like doing it for, you know, money purposes. Or, maybe not money, but, um, I like having good equipment, what can I say? And also, it's cheaper than just buying the damn thing, so I'm okay with that. Okay, so we need to... Bash you. We need a lightning bash on you. And by the way, you can still get you can still get a um, like a like a double strength hit on like a lightning bash, and it can screw you over. So you want to watch out for that. Pretty well, so that's plus one. Whereas if I hit it again on the bottom, it'd probably definitely just go yeah over it. Yeah, okay, so that's still plus one, so it's not bad. Not bad. By the way, I am going down... <coughs> excuse me. I am going down Eric's um, dagger tree for... Oh, that only gave me two, you bastards. I am going down Eric's dagger tree for the status -y stuff, but you, you can go down his... Um, what is it? His... Uh, Is like sword tree and get pretty good results out of it. Like he he learns some pretty decent uh, abilities off it, so it's not a bad idea if you want to use the uh, one-handed sword on Eric for some reason. You just don't have the fantasy stuff. Perfect. Perfect. And... Good enough for me. Nice Templar uniform to sell for a decent amount here. Okay, perfect. I'll take it. Do, 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 do. Get used to hearing that sound. All right, and finally we have enough to upgrade our cruiser ring. If I hadn't screwed up on the, um, the strength ring, but oh well. Oh well. All right, so this is a bit of a funky one, but we'll see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and bash here, here, and there. There we go. And now double-edged bash should be good. Yeah, right there. And... Perfect. Alright, uh, let's go for a... Lightning bash right there. And I... Another lightning bash... Right there. Really well, plus two. Okay, that could be pretty good. Yeah, why not? There we go. We have a much more powerful boomerang now. Considering... What was our Birchwood boomerang at? Like 17? And this will be at like 21 or something like that. So, not too shabby. Let's see here. Yeah, 21 versus... 14, yeah. So, an extra 7 points. Not too shabby. Cool. And I think we're good to go. So, let's just head back to... Let's go ahead back to the, uh, the crypt. This time with 100% less distractions, because that should work out pretty good for us. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Oh, I thought the, uh, I thought the iron ore spot respawned already. I was like, I just picked that up, like, two minutes ago. By the way, this door right here that we saw earlier, we're not going to be able to get there for a while, so don't even worry about it. Once we are able to get there, I'll be sure to point it out, so yeah. Oh, and the other enemy that is 
over here on the the Hoto Step. Uh, it is actually south of the campfire, but I'm not sure if we're allowed to go there right now, or if they'll tell me, hey, you just head to the crypt. So we'll get it later. And if you're having Eric do stealing with his half inch, uh, there are actually enemies you want to farm for a few minutes to try to get their rare steel because it's a pretty good item. Alright, the cryptic crypt, where we are probably going to get lost because this place can be kind of a pain. Iron ore, thanks. Much obliged. Hello, Drac Mage. Hey, it's a mannequin. Alright, what's up? Uh, let's see, we got the droll. Uh, let's go ahead and immediately switch out for our poison moth knife. Poison moth knife. Poison. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. Uh, and sleeper hit the button mannequin. Not quite. Veronica, uh, Veronica, I'm gonna need you to do a little better than that. You no! stretch out your eyeballs to attack me with them. That's pretty hardcore, my dude. That's quite the. Uh, that is quite the move. You just stretch out your eyeball stalks and bean someone with them. I guess you're not worried about seeing stuff in the future. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a level in here. Because I'm not going to be fighting everything, that's for sure. Uh, if I remember correctly, let's see here. Oh, there's more iron ore up there, nice. Uh, if I remember correctly, that treasure chest is a trap. Um, let's go fall for it. Yeah. Literally, we fell for it. Heh, heh, heh. Eh. But there's a treasure chest over here, so why not? Yggdrasil Leaf. That is a revive. Actually, I think that's a... What is that? Uh... Yeah, I don't think it's 100% revive, but it does revive you at 50% health, I think, which is still pretty good. It might be a little more than 50%, I'm not sure. But either way, it's a revive, and it's very useful, and the door is locked. Anything in here besides the snillies? No, nothing that I really care about. Let's see the monster list here. Yeah, we got one actually new one, but a lot of the repeats from earlier. I like how they took the time to give the sword that we have on our back a, th a sheath, and it's not just the uh, the blade sitting there. It's a nice little touch. Okay, so this is where we fell to our imminent doom earlier. So let's not do that again this time. Instead, let's go this way. With another falling floor. Yeah, there's a lot of these falling floors around here, so... Might as well just get them activated and out of the way. That way you don't have to fall for them a second time. I think there might be one falling floor that comes back, but I'm. But well, there might be in a later dungeon now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, just be careful around here with all the. with all the fake floors and whatnot, because. Well, they're everywhere, as you can see here. And this one actually took us to the other side of the door, so that one was worth coming down. We got a feathered cap, nice. And we got another monster to ride. Nice. Yeah, that's the new monster right there. And it's got a mount. It's pretty cool. Ooh, gold ore, so we can make another gold ring and sell it. For lots and lots of money. And more ore. And judging by these footprints, the monster must have climbed up here. Yeah, we can't climb up there ourselves. We need to go get the mount. And that'd be this fella. Who looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, he's a skeleton, six-legged beast. Yeah, I don't care about the rider, but the rest of him is pretty neat. Okay, let's go ahead and sleeper hit on the lump wizards and see if we can make this guy. Can 
do some stuff like, you know, not be able to cast spells. So goodbye. There goes my defense. Uh, let's see, sleeper hit, skull rider if we can. No, you're still awake. Yeah, I wish the, uh, the abilities had slightly higher success rates, and there is there isn't an ability that makes it so they have higher success rates, oh, yeah. but that's further down in the, um... But that, that's much later in the game, let's just put it that way. We're not going to see that anytime soon. And don't come back! We get the skull rider steed, because it's awesome. And yeah, we can gallop like we're on the horse. And it's real fast, too. I don't think we I don't think we can run enemies over with it. But it does look really cool. Hey, there is one of those guys that I don't care about. <laughs> Motherfucker. He snuck up behind me, and that's not fair. Okay. Well, at least Soul's gonna be the only one taking a ton of damage here. So I'm okay with that. Alright, let's go start with the mage. Rough mage. Yeah, nice damage. And get the corpse out of the way. Thank you for actually not poisoning me. I appreciate that. Much obliged. Hey, I got still alive, huh? Got a fair chunk of health. Rock actually killed something. We're so proud of you. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Don't worry about me. I think they say more stuff in this version of the game during battles, because I don't think I remember Eric ever saying, hey, are you okay in the middle of a battle before? Yeah, it must be something they added to the S version of the game, where their party members are more talkative during the battle, which is kind of cool, I guess. What's not cool is I gotta sneeze. There we go. There. And that should be good right there. Yeah, now we got a cool little wall climbing skeleton mount, which is pretty awesome. Uh, he can still fall through floors with us, so we want to watch out for that. Uh, let's see. But for the most part, we should be good. Let's see, this goes to the area that we want to go to, but there's also a treasure chest over here. Yeah. We saw this earlier with a thousand gold coins. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby in the slightest. I feel like this guy should be able to walk on the walls like sideways, but he cannot and that makes me sad. Alright, so there's stuff over there. One of these... One of these is a uh, fall down spot, but I'm not sure which one off the top of my head. Probably this one. Yeah. They taunt you with the uh, treasure chest there. Luckily, with this dude, it's a nice quick trip back up, so it's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal at all. And you can even climb back down if you want to. Which, frankly, I don't see the reason for. But it's there if you want to. Alright, there's another one. Eventually, we're going to run out of areas to fall down. And we're going to be much happier about it. I think if you leave the area and come back, all the fake fours respawn. Like, if you actually exit out like I did to go upgrade your boomerang, all the fake fours will respawn and you'll have to uh, suffer. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this real fast. Touch the root? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. I almost forgot. There's a trap up ahead. I'd forget my shadow if it wasn't sewn on. I can't go falling into my own trap now, can I? What would the others say? 
Right, I'd better go the long way round. Well, nice of them to point out that there's a uh, place that we're going to try not to fall down down there, so that's very nice of them. Excuse me. All right. All right, I had to check something real fast, and I am ready to continue on here. So, yeah, there's a, there's a uh, spot that we saw that we can avoid falling down since, well, they were nice enough to show it here. And there's a... A little priesty area coming up, so that's nice. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else back here that I missed. Like I feel like there was another chest around here somewhere, but I could be mistaken. Yeah, we got that one and this little bastard. Yeah, you little turd, go away. And we're about to run out of our pet power here. Oh well. We'll survive. Goodbye. Alright, and I think we are... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else down here. Uh, oh, there's that treasure chest. And I think I remember... Yeah, we gotta go around. The long way to grab it, that's right. Like, so where that tree was, we gotta go... Or that root was. We gotta go further around it to actually use it. So, what was it? Was it? No, it wasn't you. They show you one of the traps in the in their little scene right there, but they don't show you the rest of them. The bastards. Like, you'll know which one the one that they saw in the scene is, because you'll see that little pile of rubble. But they were not nice enough to show you the rest of them. And frankly, I don't remember where all of them are because, well, there's a lot of them scattered around here. Good luck. Good luck trying to remember all of them yourself. That's for damn sure. Okay, so. There we go. And I think you're safe. Yes. So we can get to the treasure chest that should be down here. Okay, that's the healing point, but we're not worried about that yet. I'm worried about... There we go. Silver platter. A shield, if you care about it. Yeah, a platter for food is a, a pretty good shield in this game. I think it's better than some of the stuff you can make, potentially. Okay, that should be... Another treasury stuff. Another mini metal. Awesome. Come on. There you go. I knew you could do it. Alright, and now let's go the long dash backwards for the other chest over here. Which is not as long as of a dash. Not as long of a dash this way as it was, you know, going around the long way. Ooh! Hang on a second. I think that's the uh, rare steel from the... No, go ahead. I think that's the rare steel from... Yeah, rubber gloves. This is the rare steel from the enemy in the last enemy in the Hotel Step. It increases your chance to steal by a, a percentage here. So, yeah, it's real nice. So, if you're using Eric's steel ability, you want to get that up to plus three because it gives you an extra five percent chance to actually, you know, get a successful steal. And I think I mentioned that the base steal chance is something like 5%, or no, I'm sorry, 16%, which is pretty low. So, yeah, you want to watch out for that. And there are plenty of items like that one they can use to boost that percent and actually, you know, get your steal off instead of <clears throat> not get your steal. That's one heck of a fountain to be hidden away down here. Wait, over there. <laughs> 
Serena, wake up! It's me, Veronica. Hmm? That's your sister? Serena! We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? Well, I'm here for you now. So pull yourself together! Oh, I'm ever so sorry. It's just I... Oh, well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and... Veronica! It, is that really you? What in the world has happened to you? Who... But... How did you know it was me? <laughs> We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> Oh, yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I... I thought you were... Well, that you were... You know... <sighs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister? Well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. I told you I was taken off by monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my... age. <sighs> what I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child, so stop treating me like one! Okay, we get it, we get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Don't you want to do something about it? <laughs> of course I do! Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I promise to do my bit as well. I have some really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. Yeah, we got another guest party member in the form of Serena, who's basically a healer. Well, not basically, she is a healer. And also, this water is really good for healing, because it recovers your HP and MP and all that other good stuff. Yeah. Uh, let me see, real fast here. Um, transfer you to equipment. There you go. And Eric. Yeah, we don't need you in here. There we go. Uh, let's see, one other thing I wanted to do. Since we have them, we might as well put them to use. Let's see here. Yeah, we have these sleeping hibiscuses. So let's go ahead and transfer these over to Soul here. Uh, give you two. And then give one over to Eric. That way we can try to put enemies to sleep without using his MP. And it might work out pretty good. It might not. But it also might. So we'll see. Alright, let's heal up here. Oh yeah, and that's why uh, Veronica hasn't actually been casting any magic. It's because she doesn't have any right now, because it was all drained from her, from the people that kidnapped her. So yeah, that's why she's just whacking people with her, her staff instead of actually you know doing anything useful. Oh well. It's just the way it is. Alright, yeah, of course we're going to continue. We got a boss to deal with. Let's go. Oh, no, I, I already saved. Go ahead. Right, let's see here. Then we got yeah, one more sparkly spot coming up. And that should be everything around here. Minus the sparkly spot. Let's see. Eric, what do you got to say? Four pieces of treasure. Um, I don't know. I'm, I don't think that's counting the sparkly spot. But I think it might be counting treasure past, like, the boss room or whatever. I almost 
almost forgot. You need a password to get through here. And it was... Um... Ah... Uh, it was... Humbra Kadumbra. Not quite Abracadabra, but close enough. And I don't think our little mounty friend is going to be necessary for coming up here. Strange voice comes from the other side of the door. None shall pass without the secret word. Sure. I got it. Let's be sneaky about this. Are you potty? You come here and tell Jarvis that you let that lovely, juicy specimen escape, and you think an apology's gonna cut it? Ooh, this Jars. Do you crackpots think sorcerers like Veronica come along often? Do you have any idea what we'll have to do to nab a specimen like that again? You knew I wanted to drain all her magic so I could earn the Lord of Shadows' respect when he came back. All my plans shattered. The Lord of Shadows? That's them. They're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here. <laughs> See that jar by the big fat one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. Then I guess we'd better figure out how to get them back. Hmm. Ver Ver Veronica. Huh? <laughs> oh, smashy. I do love guests. <laughs> Especially when they bring me presents. If it isn't the one that got away, talk about it in the jackpot. Now, just sit tight while we suck every ounce of magic out of you. Boys, this lot have earned a VIP treatment. Get cracking! Uh, looks like we'll be fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not. <laughs> yeah, they really like the. Uh, <laughs> they really like the. Um... Okay. I wonder what way this fight's gonna end with you giving me my magic back. Yeah, they really like the pop cleanse of that dude because why not? Uh, yeah, let's do scorched earths. This will do damage to them, and it works out pretty good for us. So, now yeah. And then we can worry about the persecutor stuff later. Uh, so the boss, the, the big fat guy Jarvis, he is weak to sleep, so we can go ahead and try to do that. We don't have to worry about healing too much because uh, Serena will actually cast heal on us a fair chunk of the time, so. That's really nice. Uh, let's get rid of his shadows with Sizz here if we can. Yeah, if we can get rid of them sooner rather than later, that'd be great. Let's not be put to sleep, that'd be great, thanks. I want to put them to sleep, not the other way around. Ah, uh, Serena, you're beautiful. I love it. She's the blonde who keeps me alive. What more can I ask for? Alright, uh, Eric, you still have your boomerang equipped. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to work on the uh, shadows real fast. Get them out of the way. Yeah. Do some damage there. Ooh, buff. That'll raise our defense, which would be real nice. Okay, so with this right here, the deep breath, uh, if you hit him hard enough, I'm pretty sure it knocks him out of it. 
So let's see if we can't cutting edge him and knock him out of it. No, it didn't work. It might be a better idea just, just to uh, guard for when that happens because if you can't knock him out of it, you're going to take a pretty decent chunk of damage here. And these guys are going to die from our pet power here. Nice. Perfect. Well, that worked out beautiful. Yes, we cross damage right here. And yeah, that kind of hurts. Matter of fact, that kind of hurts a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up real fast. And I think Ron uh, Serena will heal up Eric. Okay. If she's smart. Or she'll do that. What do we do now? Damn it, game. Well, it looks like Eric's not going to get any experience for this fight. <laughs> that sucks. Um, yeah, that's kind of crap right there. Yeah, the, the AI for the party members, I uh, guess, otherwise is not the best, as you can see, because they don't always pay attention to the situation, and they could have just, you know, not did that. Well, she's fine healing us, but she didn't want to heal Eric for some reason. Luckily, we have Cutting Edge, and they are happy to give us single files to keep our MP up, but Eric kind of got closed there. And he was going to do a ton of damage. And then again, I could have put the Yggdrasil Leaf into my into my inventory, but I didn't think that I would have to worry about it with Serena healing. But the AI is not the smartest that we noticed right here. Well, at least we can spam Cutting Edge here, and it's working out pretty well. Yeah, enemies can become pepped up in this game, so... Just so you know, sometimes they even get pet powers. It's not very often, but it can happen. And there we go. That would have gone much smoother if Eric had stayed alive. That's quite a chunk of experience that Eric's not going to get. Damn it. I'll never be the Lord of Shadow's right hand man if I can't even beat the likes of you lot. Ugh. All my dreams shattered. Ugh. Who is this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough when everything finally goes to pot. <sighs> We'll find out soon enough, huh? <laughs> right. Time to get my magic back. To worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. But then why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice. Trust you to see the funny side. 
Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. By the way, you have noticed who we're travelling with, haven't you? Of course I have. And so have you, it seems. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Bold luminary, Yggdrasil's chosen. Long have we waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea, it proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now... If I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere. Awarded for being recognized as a luminary by the two twins from Arborea and trusted with ensuring your safety. Yggdrasil's chosen. None shall defeat you while we live. Eric, we don't care about you though. So, yeah. Uh, they're, still not, they're still not actually part of our party. Oh, no, Eric actually got revived for the cutscene. Neat. Uh... However, since we have a save like right be before this, I am going to go ahead and redo that boss fight and do it properly this time where I, Eric doesn't die. So let's go do this. Let's see. Yeah, we should be pretty good here. And we can skip all the cutscenes and get through pretty fast. Uh, yeah, that's nice. We have the, we have the ladies here. Okay, we, we've rejoined. Uh, to be on the safe side, let's go ahead and give the Yggdrasil leaf to Sir Soul here. There we go. Yeah, try this again without the me dying, or Eric dying part. Come on, game. Let me skip this. I know I, know I can. Let me skip this part, too. Come on, game. There you go. I knew you could do it. Alright. Uh... Yeah, you can come with me. You're my friend. I like you. You're cool. Yeah, let's see. Skippy. Get him, boys! Alright, try this again here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, bye bye. You get your magic back. Let's go ahead and. Not gang up on Eric. Wow, thanks, game. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and see if the Sleeping Hibiscus will actually work on Jarvis right off the bat here. Yes, it did. Cool. Cool. I can deal with that. That means he's not going to be able to do any damage for several turns, and that will work out really well for us. So, pet powers, Scorched Earth. Here we go. Yeah, that'll really help out the, the damage a little bit. Uh, the pro One of the problems, though, is something like Veronica might actually just whack him and wake him up. So, yeah, that might not work out terribly great for us. But we'll see how it goes. Fuck, attack Eric and wake him up. That'd be good. No? You're attacking the twins? Fair enough. Ah, thank you. Much obliged. Much obliged. Alright, we're still awake. Let's go ahead and... Sizz the shadows here. To reduce fire resistance. That should help take you guys out pretty soon here. Thanks. And thank you for keeping Eric alive. Much appreciated here. By the way, you can't stack the pet power and the rebel rouser. 
it'd be nice, but sadly, you cannot. So, don't give it a shot at the moment. Um, let's go ahead and switch back over to your your cruiser ring here. Or, or your poison moth knife. There we go. And yeah, let's go ahead and start taking out the shadows here. I don't want to use the boomerang because it might end up waking up the, the boss. And I want him to be asleep for <laughs> dodging. Uh, you know what? We can probably go with Persecutor now. Let's try that. Yeah, 92 damage. Nice. Perfect. Okay, you're taking a deep breath. Let's see if watch out for that. Uh, let's go ahead and defend. Uh, keep defending until he actually attacks. She says something about, I guess it pays to something? I don't know what she said. Freeze! Freeze. Yeah, uh, thank you for not doing that much damage. Much obliged. Uh, let's go ahead with a sleeper hit here. Come on, we want you back asleep there, handsome. Thank you for attacking the twins. That makes my life much easier here. Perfect. And sleepy. You want some? No, you're still awake. Okay. Uh, let's see if uh, Soul can put him to sleep here. <coughs> then again, we. Ah, it didn't work. I was gonna say, maybe the uh, sleeping. Not the sleeping. Uh, the, uh. The cutting edge would work. Would work to uh, just get rid of him right now, anyways. Possibly. Oh, and I looked it up. Um. The move that puts him to sleep, it does do an extra 20% damage bait over your physical attack. So it, does, it actually does have a slightly higher base damage than just your normal physical attack by about 20%. So, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And, okay, you're still awake. But you're still dead. Cool. And there we go. Now Eric actually gets his experience. Perfect. Skip all this stuff. There we go. Yeah, we got our twins here, and yeah, let's just go ahead and finish the area since we're pretty close to the end here. Um, let's see here. With all the pots this guy was talking about, there has to be something we can break, right? Yeah, just these two. Uh, per apparently we can open chests while mounted, but our mount draws the line at breaking the pottery. Okay, fair enough. And Grubby Bandage. Yeah, that's another crafting item. Chunk of iron ore. And just go through the door here. Uh, let's see, how is... Still three pieces of treasure left. I might have to look for those. Mm. Oh, actually, no, they might Gosh, be in here, actually. Look at all these cells. What a horrid place. Oh. Hey, who's there? Don't worry, you're safe now. We took care of that potty old fathead and his cronies. Thanks. I owe you one. I was starting to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me instead. You were starting to worry? And what about your poor little daughter all on her own, hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. Wait, you know Connie? We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. The owner of the bar back in town is looking after her. He's a mature, responsible adult, you see. Oh. Listen, I appreciate your help, really, I do. I'm Noah, by the way. If there's anything I can do to repay you, just say the word. 
Noah, huh? Where have I heard that name before? Hmm. Oh, look, I've taken up enough of your time. I should, uh, get back and see how uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. Well, he certainly left in rather a hurry. You can say that again. Very fishy. Well, never mind. We should head back too. We deserve a rest. We probably left so fast when we get back to the bar. Hey, we're back at Hoto. Neat. Yeah, I think there's treasure at the end of the um the boss chamber there, and I don't think we can get it because it's locked behind doors. So Oh well. And oh, hello, what are you doing? Ah, so they're awake. Nice. My comrades are awake. Let's go find out. Awake at last, huh? Don't worry, we all just woke up too. And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I and how we're going to help you. Hmm. We have a legend in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the Mark of Light, will rise to meet him. I know it's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary, the man who defeated the Dark One long ago. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. But ours is not to reason why. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big mouth? In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says. Honestly. They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths, no? Bummer. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remembered where I know him from. He sells information to... Uh... People in my profession. And you think he might know how we can reach the World Tree? Wonderful! Well, what are we waiting for? To the bar! Alright, so we'll head to the bar and talk to Noah and get information. But you know what, we're going to do that next episode because uh, we took longer than I thought that we were to uh, take care of this other stuff here. So guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.